Coach Richards, first things first, congratulations on a win. Uh, come from behind win and three points in the MAC. Yes, we'll take it. <laughs> it feels like it, the game kicked off about three days ago. It's been so many emotions that we went through in that game. But you're right, at the end of the day, it's three points in the MAC and it's an overtime win, and thank goodness it's over. Um, you know, I'm sure you you do your thing all week. You have four practices, I guess, probably before this, and you work and you tell them whatever, and then you come out and you. I'm, I'm sure everybody's working hard, but now you you go down a goal in the first half, and like what at that point, what's what's going through your mind when you've fallen behind? Well, I probably can't say exactly okay. what's going on uh, in my mind, but I'll give you the gist yes, of it. That'd be good. Disappointment, really, with the way we were playing. I'm, I'm sure that I know the fans at halftime heard the uh, the volume at which I was addressing the team, and it was just pure frustration at what we were not doing. We have practiced so hard this week and done a really good job in practice of preparing for this game and we just simply didn't follow the instructions and, and a lot of it comes down to work rate and, and desire to want to go and, and play and we were really disappointed, all three of us, it wasn't just me, Kelly felt the same and Jimmy felt the same and we were just totally letting ourselves down so we, we pretty much let them have it at half time and, and it, Credit to the team, they came straight out, almost scored actually, in right. the first minute of the right. second half and then got ourselves back into the game. Beautiful goal, a wonderful serve from, from Evie Casagrande after she'd been put in, I think, by Vondi. And then, of course, he was there to, to score the goal. And, and, and it, just a beautiful goal, probably one of the best goals we've scored all season, to be fair. But the whole performance is better. We, we, they had some chances, particularly at the end, where they could have uh, scored. They hit the crossbar, so we rode our luck a little bit. and then. But the, but the second half was way better. So the message at the end of the game, that, sorry, the end of regulation, is pretty much the same as half time. You know, you, this better, but it's still not good enough. Now you got to go on and win it, and, and we're grateful that we did. Uh, the goal uh, in the second half by Z, you kind of mentioned it, but uh, just first off, what a what a masterful substitution. Evie had just come into the game and really hadn't played in a, a few games at least. Can you? Right. Just talk about the play. I don't know if that was her first it, touch, it but it could have been. A, it was a first or a second touch. Um, we, as a staff, talked about playing Evie in that position. She does have a, a, a wonderful left foot. She can serve a ball, and we just felt that the game needed it. It was one of those instant decisions that you you make. Uh, it wasn't leading up to it. It just suddenly came. Like, okay, let's just do it. And then a minute later, she set up the ball. So inspired, you can call it, or you can call <laughs> it just, just lucky. Uh, but she did a wonderful job, and I think that she's earned that opportunity over the last few weeks uh, in practice, and she's had a few minutes on the field, but she's totally earned herself and, and thrown herself right back in the frame again, so good for her. And then I know at that point now it's it's still 1-1, you have a long way to go, but does that just kind of take a little bit of a weight off everyone's shoulders, after, especially yeah. after going so long without a goal? No question. I mean, you've also got to weigh into this whole equation, the, the mindset of Eastern Michigan. I know they're 0-9-2, they've sure. got the lead and then they've lost it, so I'm sure they're feeling it's slipping away from us, and so we have to really... Uh, step on the men and go and win the game. We didn't do it as quickly as we wanted to, but you know, you, as a coach, you're thinking. As a player, you may not be, but as a coach, you're definitely thinking. Now is the time to strike and, and get a second one. And I think if it had got a second in regulation, we might even have got a third. But it wasn't to be, and and they had some chances. And to be fair, if it wasn't for the for Becca for a couple mm -hmm. of saves and the crossbar for a, another one, we we could have been having a very different conversation right now. And then Sydney Huth in the overtime. And now, full disclosure, she. She told me on this very uh, camera on an interview that she was trying to cross it, um, and I she can't you can't fool a, a frustrated, uh, no talent player like myself. I've done that before. But uh, just talk about. I mean, she she did a lot of work to win the ball and then keep the ball and put it in the center. Can you just kind of talk about that? Again, we, we keep talking to our players about how important work rate is and desire. I thought Sid played great last Sunday against Ball State, even though we were disappointed with that result. But it put her back in the frame again today because she worked so hard and tried to do things. And that's what a player in, the, in any program needs to do. You've got to show your worth, whether you get two minutes, 20 minutes, or 90 minutes. So she has another opportunity, which I thought she was very dynamic and very threatening. Uh, the message all week was been put the ball into dangerous positions and good things will happen. And you couldn't have written that better. I'm, I'm almost glad that she tried to cross it, sure. it because then that really uh, exemplifies the point. If you do enough threatening things, good things will happen. So I'm, I'm delighted for her. She really earned that from previous weeks. Well, not just last Sunday, but prior sure. to that. And for a first collegiate goal, I kind of teased her, you know, first <laughs> collegiate goal, and it didn't even hit the net, but uh, <laughs> it still counts. 
And then I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Leah Johnson. And just how gratifying is that for you to see her back on the field after such a long time away? Wonderful. I mean, you, you, you're almost a little emotional about it because she's tried so hard, come back from two ACLs, hasn't played in such a long time, has been showing well in practice. Um, in, in my heart, of course, prior to the game, I want her to go on and score the winning goal. Sure. Uh, but in my head, I know that she needs some time to get back in. She got two blocks of about 15 minutes a day mm -hmm. and did some nice things right before she came off in the second half. She had a very good block tackle about where we stood, actually, with with her right leg, which was the ACL injury. And she came out of that unscathed. So that's a little bit of confidence. So Sunday, maybe a little bit more. Next week, a bit more and a bit more. But she's a, she's a great player, and this program has truly missed her the last two seasons. And obviously, I mean, there's no... Uh, we've seen already there's no easy games in the MAC, but just so you've got some tough ones down the road here but just how important for your you both your mindset and your battle to make the tournament is is a win and you know, three more points today it's all it's about I mean you've said it there are no easy games in the MAC, but we have to make sure we're not an easy game and that was my my frustration, my anger at halftime, we were making it easy for Eastern Michigan. They're a good team. There's mm -hmm. no question. They're very well coached. They always are. But we were making them look even better than they were because we weren't applying pressure and we weren't doing the things that we wanted to do. Second half, we were a better team and we came out on top in the end, but it took us a, it was a big struggle to do that. So you're right. There's no easy games. We have to make sure we're not easy. And we've now, in our remaining six games, we've probably got to win at least half of them if we want to get into the, the tournament. Hopefully today will be a spur. I know, I'm sure you'll have this in your stats. It's the first overtime win in, I think, 2008. And we've come from behind again. And so there's a lot of little hurdles that we're starting to overcome now. And that, that has to be good for our mindset. All right, sir. Congrats again on the win. Thank, Thank you, very, you very much. much Mike.